Hello there, this is Jason Checkets with Insurance Professionals of Arizona. I want to spend a little bit of time with you today talking to you about United Healthcare Golden Rule. This is a short term medical plan, right? Specifically designed, in my opinion, for people who need uh, health coverage for less than three years. Maybe they're coming off an employer plan and they're not yet 65. And within three years, they will be 65. This plan is great for them. It's my favorite. It's my go-to for those situations. I, I, although I do have some people who went with this uh, that are uh, young families and they love this product too. They just have to reapply every three years, right? And you have to be healthy in order to get on this plan. This is a fully underwritten health plan, which means if they're taking medications or if they have conditions for certain big things, they're probably not going to get approved. So you're going to want to put people on this who are healthy. If they're not healthy and they have health issues, let's look at Marketplace. And if you need to get contracted and trained on Marketplace plans, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out with that as well. Okay, so it's real simple. Um, there's a couple, when you first log in, this is what the screen will look like. There's a couple buttons right here front and center for you. If you have current business, you can click on this My Business button. It'll show you your current clients. Um, for now, though, we're going to focus on get a quote. So you have a client, let's say they, their birthday is next October of, 19, of, of 2024. I'm sorry, let's say they're turning 65 next October of 2024, right? And that's the person we're going to work as a case here, right here today, okay? So let's put in their zip code. I'm just making up zip codes right now. Let's put up their, in their gender. Let's put in their birth date, <clears throat> okay? October 5th, 1959, which means... In one year and one month, they'll be 65 years old, which means this is a great product for this particular client, assuming they're healthy. Tobacco status, you got to answer that question. And then right over here is um, you're going to select their, um, their they call it the triterm, triterm weight range, optimal standard one or standard two to figure out what that's going to be. You just click right here on this little button and it'll bring up a chart. And based on where they fall in this chart, they're going to be optimal, standard one or standard two. So once you know that, make sure you select the right one because it drives the rates. Okay, so you want to make sure you're quoting the right rates. Let's say this person is not married, so we're going to remove the spouse and they don't have children that they're covering, so we're going to remove the children. And down here now, we're, 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 we're showing the basic, the, 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 the top two plans that you're going to be quoting. Okay. Tri-term medical plans and then short-term medical plans. Now, what's the difference? The tri-term medical plans allow someone to be on the plan for three years. So uh, the term is one year. So the, the term tri-term means three years. Okay, and it's technically, I think, one day less than three years to be within the law. There's legal, uh, there's the, the whatever the law states for these tri-term medical plans, it has to be under three years. So they do three years minus one day. Okay, we're going to talk about tri-term medical plans. The short-term medical plans, those are for people who need a plan for less than one year. Now, because I purposely did this because this person is a great example of the fact that they can either choose a tri-term or a short-term plan because they technically have more than one year left, or at least from today's date, uh, before they turn 65. But let's, let's just change this date real quick. Let's change it to August 5th of 1959, which means they have less than one year before they turn 65. And you'll notice the tri-term plans go away. You can't quote it. They're not eligible for a tri-term plan. They're only eligible for short-term. But to make this uh, so I can show you both, I'm going to put her back here as October 5th. And now you'll see both plan options available. Let's dig a little bit deeper now into in my but again this is just jason checkets here this is based on my experience the research that i've done i feel like these plans are kind of my go-to in the tri-term bucket it's the copay select max the plan 100 max and the plan 80 max in my opinion those are kind of the three leading products that you would want to to look at but hey try look at these other ones too understand them maybe those are quote, products that you you would feel are better for your clients based on their needs right but we're going to just compare those three plans right now, and then we'll come back and we'll compare some of these short-term plans so you understand the difference. By the way, all these ancillary products down here, I've never quoted. I don't think they're worth it. Totally a preference thing, but you can look into this. 
with the exception of maybe the dental or vision plans, and even those I very rarely quote, I just don't think they're worth it. Come down here, click on view plans. Now, because I chose three products in one bucket, the tri-term bucket, uh, it's going to actually compare apples to apples here, and you're going to be able to scroll down and see the differences among these three plans. Okay, you can even click this button if you want to highlight those differences. But the first thing that you'll see here is what the monthly premiums are based on which product you're looking at here. And, and while we're here talking about that premium, I want to tell you about one more very important thing. When you quote this price, it's not $355. It's actually 365.86. Add $10. Okay, why? Well, again, this has to do with the way the law is written with these short-term plans. See, see, there's half of our government doesn't agree with short-term plans. Okay, they want to push everyone to marketplace, right? And so they're trying to get rid of short-term plans. As a matter of fact, here it is today, September 21st, 2023. And there's, there's an act right now within the Biden administration trying to get rid of to make short-term plans completely illegal, uh, except for up to, I think, three months. And that's, you know, you can do a two- or three-month plan, and then you're, you're done. Maybe it's four months. I can't remember, but it's right around two, three, or four months. They're trying to get rid of these three-year plans, okay? Um, so why do I tell you all that? The way the law is currently written right now is that in order for you to qualify for a tri-term plan, you have to be a part of what's called, a, well, you have to be part of an organization. You have to be part of a group, kind of like an employer-sponsored plan, right? You can't get on a Bank of America employer-sponsored plan unless you work for Bank of America. Same concept here. You have to be part of what's called the FACT organization. I don't even know exactly what it is or what they do. There's discounts, things like that, but you have to be a part of this organization in order to be able to get on this particular short-term medical plan. It's just the way the law is written, and, uh, and that's a requirement. And so United Healthcare has chosen this FACT organization, which costs $10 per month to be a part of. So this monthly premium, instead of being $355, is actually going to be $365, okay, $371. 394 so when you're quoting these prices to your client right from the beginning just start just add the 10 bucks right in the beginning right so there's no surprises in the end and then if they go with the product explain the whole fact organization and by the way if you click right here on the brochure I'm not gonna do it but you need to click on the brochure it's actually it tells about these plans it talks about the fact organization all that good stuff you need to study the brochure it's also a really good brochure to send to your client, right? Who's thinking about these plans or who want to see things, you know, in writing, you're going to send them that PDF. So it's amazing. It's all right here in one, 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 one stop shopping. Okay. With tri-term medical plans, there's two things that you need to, to ask your client about. The first one is what, what do they feel comfortable deductible wise? So right now we're at a $12,500 deductible for $365. Let's change it to $5,000. I'm going to change all three to $5,000. So you're comparing apples to apples. And the premiums go up, right? So now it's $523, $539, and $585. Okay. The other thing that you want to change is this coverage period start date. Make sure you go to the date that your client wants it to start. Now, in this particular case, with this particular client, they want their start date to be December 1st. So go ahead and change the date now. It won't change the premium in, in this case, but let's say United Healthcare has already decided that rates are gonna go up effective 12-1, right? Because you put 12-1 in here, it will change up here. It'll change what the premium is going to be so that you're, again, quoting the right rates, right? So um, so make sure you change that. I'm not gonna change them on all these, but that's, that's what you need to do on, on this. Now, let's talk about the differences. Within these three products, I'm going to quickly review. I'm going to highlight what the differences are. They're all listed right here. But the first thing is, is this. The first big difference to explain is that the, they all have a deductible. But then once the client meets the deductible, coinsurance comes in next for these two plans. There's no coinsurance on this plan 100 max. Okay. So, so once someone reaches the deductible and they jump into the coinsurance phase, they're going to pay the coinsurance, in this case, 30% on the Copay Select Max plan, 
until they reach another $4,500 out of pocket. So the max out of pocket on this particular plan, the copay select plan, $9,500. It's the $5,000 deductible plus the coinsurance max out of pocket. So tell your client that. Hey, for, for $523 a month, you, your max out of pocket is, is $9,500 based on what we've chosen for your deductible. Once you reach that, if you reach that, the plan pays everything else 100%. Okay, for the rest of the term, for the rest of the calendar year, right? Or the or no, I don't think it's calendar year. It's the, the it's not calendar year. It's the term from one year from the date that they enrolled in this plan. Okay. Obviously, over here with Plan 80, it, it the coinsurance is 8020 with a two thousand dollar coinsurance max out of pocket, and then this is a, of course a 100 uh, zero plan, so no coinsurance on this plan. Another, a couple other key different. Oh, by the way, here's where you look up their doctors. And if their doctors are in network with this PPO, this is a PPO plan, then they're going to pay what you see here on the screen. If their doctors are out of network and the doctor's willing to build a plan, they're going to pay higher amounts. Okay. Um, let's see. The standard benefits, I think, are all the same. Uh, here's where it also gets different. Uh, some people love this Copay Select Max plan because maybe they just like to be able to go to a doctor once or twice a year. And on this plan, they can go four visits per term, right? With a $50 copay each visit, as opposed to these other two where you pay full price until you reach the deductible. Um, preventative also is covered on the copay select. Again, that's another reason for especially younger people um, who are on this plan. They have some preventative care benefits with just a $50 copay. But get this, get this kicker here. No preventative care is covered for the first six months. So be aware of that. This plan also does cover a little bit of prescription drugs, whereas this one, you're just going to pay the discounted rate for drugs until you reach the deductible. This plan has urgent care copay, $75 to go see the urgent care, where these two plans, they're, they're, they just pay full price until they meet the deductible and so forth. And I think everything else from there on is the same. And be aware that these plans have a $40 application fee. Okay. I went quite a quick, kind of quick, but this, these are your tri-term plans. All three of these plans are amazing. Just get a feel from your client what they're what they're comfortable in in paying and what they want out of their coverage. Now, let me go back and change this. I'm going to take off the tri-term plans, and we're going to look at short-term plans. Okay, with short-term plans, kind of my go-to are is the short-term Medical Plus Elite, uh, this copay, and then this Plus plan. Those are the three I think, in my opinion, again the kind of the go-to when it comes to short-term plans. Come down here, click on View Plans. With short-term plans, there's one more thing that you want, that you need to change uh, down here in these filters. And uh, so let's let's look at those. So let's, again, let's just change our deductible. I want to I want to get it to kind of a more reasonable deductible here. So you can see the premiums are going up based on the deductible. But then here, you can change how long you need the coverage. So let's let's change the start date. Now they don't let on the short term plans. They don't let you go out far farther than two months as a start date. So I can't go out to December first in this case. Okay. So you're gonna have to tell your client, hey, in order to get the, the most accurate pricing on this, we need to wait until what October first to get you a quote for a 12 one effective date. So um, so I'm just gonna change. See how that, see how it changed in this case it changed the premium. So let me go back. Let me go back to today's date. Um, let's see here. At with a with a start date of September twenty second, the premium is four forty. When I change it to November, which is the farthest I can go out, November twentieth, it changed it to four forty five or four fifty five. Always add the ten dollars. Okay. Then you can also change the duration, and that's it. This is important as well. Look. This person is going to start on December 1st. They only need it for 10 months. So it'll end on, well, when you, when you do this in 10 days, it'll end on September 30th, right? Or whatever. And look what happened to the premium. The six-month plan was less than the 10-month plan. So this is why. Make sure you fill out these filters, if you want to call them filters, before you start rattling off costs. Okay? So $584. Okay? And so forth. Make sense? Okay. Um, 
and I'm not going to go over the details of these three plans, but there are differences down here. You know how to you know how to read these screens. So read through them, understand the differences, understand how each one of these plans work, right? Before you uh, so that you can explain them to your client and so forth. But let's say your client chose the plan and now you're ready to enroll them. Okay. If this is the plan they want, you're going to simply click on add to cart. Okay. If you're a lazy broker, you're going to send the cart to the prospect and you're going to make them do the work. I don't think you should do that. I think you should do the broker assisted application. That way, you know, it's being done right. On your next screen right here, there's two ways for your client to be able to sign this application. The first method is where at the end of the application, you're going to push a button and they're going to get an email asking them to click on a link and, and e-sign, right? The second option is where at the end of the application, there's two security questions. And there's a list of like five or six questions for them to choose from, like, what is your mother's maiden name? What town were you born in? You know, those kinds of questions. And they just simply answer those two questions verbally over the phone with you. You type their answers in and that uh, uh, represents their signature. So ask them how they want to sign. And then once you've got that, got, got that um, nailed down, we're going to put in your client's information. So I'm just going to make up some information here. Um, happy at yahoo.com. Whoever has that email address probably gets a lot of emails. Um, go ahead, since you're since you're going to be taking your client's application right now, go ahead. Even though this is optional, fill in this information. For now, I'm going to, as a, for sake of time, I'm not going to. I'm going to skip it. And you click on Start Broker Assisted Application, and now you're going to start filling in all this information here, and then you're going to hit Continue. Now I'm not going to go any further at this point, but when you hit Continue. You're going to start seeing more questions and the medical under questions, the health, the health related questions. It's going to ask you for payment information like bank account information, credit card information. There's options there, right? So it's all pretty much user friendly at this point. Okay. And then you submit the application, right? So applicant information, questions, summary and payment, submit. And that's it. That's it. Okay. You can check the status of your applications. Under quoting and applications, you can look at a you can look at a list called applications in progress. I'm not going to click on that because I do have client data that I don't want displayed here on YouTube. But uh, that's that's where you'd go check for that. Um, and if you want to look at your current business, you'll click right here under my business summary. Okay, commissions are found here and so forth. Hope that helps. If you have questions about United Healthcare Golden Rule, feel free to reach out anytime. Have a great day.